Hello everyone and welcome back to the Greshfaria channel. This is Deadman9001, the voice of that channel, and we are bringing you the I Don't Know What I'm Doing series, The Sean States. Currently we are playing EU4, yeah I'm still on the pause screen, as the Sean States Burma, you know I'm starting to call it what it is, it's Burma. We are Burma now. I've already said that in a last in a video before. I've said that in multiple videos. But anyway, all right. So last time we did this thing here. We went to war for Kachar. We've been uh, coring their province of Kachar, and we have them as a vassal. We've also tried developing some good relations with our vassal of Pegu, and we've returned to gain some uh, better opinion with the Ming Dynasty over here. Yori Horde has suffered a rebellion. I don't know if it's changed. It's currently at war with Manchu over what? I don't know. Uh, they are trying to conquer the entire territory. Which would include down here, too, because they did get part of Korea somehow. Uh, well, there's not too much else to write home about. Our, our big plans right now are just trade, peace. We're almost halfway through making that core. We're also friends with Orissa. I remember doing that. So, we've had some good good plays so far lately better than any other play I've got all right let's get this started anyway so we're just gonna speed through here on four speed for now just get that piece chance let's go back to me right now I have a very poor king still he's still on the throne guys I don't know why uh, Tibet's at war with Assam to conquest that's something you've never you'd never hear in our time Tibet going for conquest. Anyway, our king's pretty bad. He's still alive. Uh, I wish he wasn't. And I wish earlier, when I was making a leader, that I had gotten rid of by put uh, you know put him as a military leader instead of make a new one. That would have saved me some military power points, and it would have given me this guy, who's a six-three-two. That is amazing across the board, especially when I'm destroying our diplomatic power boost by constantly <laughs> getting more allies. So, but well, we've officially run out of the bill, or run out of making any better relations with the Ming, and uh, that leaves us a plus 78. Our aggr aggressive expansion is starting to die down all across in some places. Others, like Bengal, they're kind of weary of us right now. Pegu, obviously, we took them over. But they're getting better with us because we are a vassal. Or, they are a vassal of us. Yeah, we're the vassal. Yay. Ayuthia is not too angry. We improve relations with them to get them to a positive. So we haven't seen anything we even have even had a coalition form against us which is i'm glad for that so it looks like gujarat did lose that war with kathawar um, and of course kathawar is again at another war i guess maywar and kathawar want more are they the defender in this one let's see you're currently the defender. I guess Malawani wants to conquer them and the Bam Bahamanis are friendly with them. So this this video and a few others aren't going to be too exciting. I know you guys want like you, this war all the I can't do war all the time. It kills the manpower. It kills my ability to raise any more troops and heal my troops. I know there's some nations, bingo, that is that are weak right now. That I could possibly claim. 
Um, but they're allied with some big people. And most and those people happen to be in a war to take over their neighboring states. So I'm going to try to stay a little bit more out of India than I already have. I mean, maybe I'll get a couple provinces out of Bengal eventually. But my main focus for now, as I've had time to think, is to go for Southeast Asia, build up the power base there, then eventually I can move over. Oh, what just happened here? <laughs> so, in one of our prior plays, Malacca claimed and gained a territory over a uh, say. But I guess now, all of a sudden, when I wasn't paying attention, Assay turned around, got that that territory back, then went and took two Alpha Malacca. So, also we have ex we have ex seen a little bit more of the world, so the known world is getting bigger for us. I guess uh, Malawi did win that war, as they got rid of the little country up here. But, you know, the known world is still relatively small for us. You could say it's small. It's pretty big, but it's it's relatively small compared to what, it, what we what we know today. But as of 1468 and this playthrough, we, we know quite a bit. So my manpower maximum is at 15k. So it, our manpower is st steadily growing over course of time uh, as you as you are all well aware I am I do have a, va a couple vassals Kachar I don't think he's gonna have any uh... well, I'm gonna improve relations with them then make them a happy vassal but they don't have the ability to raise a troop right now Pegu does have troops uh, we're slowly getting to the end of our improved relation period. But if we can wait a, a while with them, especially with their aggressive expansion penalty that I have with them, I mean, Pegu just does not, is not happy with us right now. So, we are allied to Lan Zhang. Which is mad at us because we're allied to Lan Na. And they're actually really happy with us. The only problem is that I can't go in and offer vassalization because for some reason their base tax compared to mine is better even though I get more money than they do and their military power is apparently better than mine somehow but if you remember from our last game playthrough I did increase my military power it's going to take a while, and we are getting closer to our admin and diplotech uh, spots, so it won't be too long now before we are on the road. Cool! Our national spy defense is low, but our trade income modifier is much better. So our income is okay right now. We are still spending more than we should. So I'm going to lower the army maintenance now. My cat over here is trying to drink my iced tea here. Arnold Palmer iced tea. Gotta love it. Alright, so we currently do have a positive income of over one duke at a month. And we now have our uh, military power up, or our military manpower up to the point where it's going to support this. It's now 10,000. So I can go ahead and I have the ability to raise three more troops. So I will raise one more troop here. It looks like Assam lost part of its territory right here. And Nepal is now an ally. I'm still surprised we have yet to... What is Tibet doing in my land? 
Oh. Apparently I have double improved relations with them, but anyway, they did they did win out a territory here and there. They are still rivaled to me. And they have a conquest cost of spelly against them. So we should be wary about that. I may just actually ally with these guys, the Ming. Maybe. Apparently they have a negative. Our core is coming close, so... Yeah, as you, as you know, if you've played this game, manpower does decrease every time you get troops. Which is why I've been more interested in waiting. So Gachar is finally cored, which means we can convert it. This will, of course... Apparently this is going to take a long time. Uh, it'll be done in a hundred years. I don't know why. Can't really build much except for. Well, I could build an earthen rampart here. It's gonna cost a lot of money. I, or does it just. It has that. Okay. So, what can I build right now? We could build a bark. And increase trade, or I can get a galley in here. It's only gonna cost us ten. I will build that. I don't know who will fight event next. I know we're gonna have we're gonna start chewing into this region. I really wanna get this. Really wanna get this, because that's seven base tax province right there. Be great. I mean, they get, what, 12 gold between their two provinces? Maybe it's just my income. It might just be the fact that my tax income is just not big enough. Although I would have thought it would have been. So the Shin culture is not really accepted. And it probably won't be accepted. But I do have some powerful allies in Orissa here. So if I ever want to go into Bengal, I could. We are still slowly getting there on the tech, which I'm pretty ecstatic about. Pegu, our Diplo here will eventually come back. Uh, I don't know exactly when, because he's been doing this for 1,200 days now. So I've got comments from you guys on my Facebook, uh, on my actual personal page, because a couple of you guys that are watching are friends of mine in real life, so it's great to see that you guys are watching, I'm, you know, it makes me actually happy to make these, aside from the fact that I like the game and want to keep making these videos, so thank you guys for, thank you definitely for watching, thank you for um, messaging me on Facebook and saying, hey, we like this series, keep making it. I didn't combine these units because they're doing the same thing. And that ship did build, so we will unite this. You know, I, I'm so glad I even got this game. Just, just because it's just so amazing right now to me. And it's going to turn into Crusader Kings 2 eventually for me, where I just kind of 
don't get as excited and giddy about it as I am right now, but that time is a long time from now. I guarantee it. Just based on this play, Brandenburg kind, that Brandenburg game, I know we, I'm, I said I would stop talking about that one, but it was a more of a hard play. I mean, it was easy at some times, but the Hansa being the Hansa and being a big power ugh, made me angry. So, I'm going to take a pause right here. Please don't mind this too much. Be right back in just a gif. Well, my mouse just uh, screened everything over. Anyway. I just wanted to see how long this video had been going for as I'm recording this, so I forgot to set my clock, my timer, so I, I had no idea how long. Uh, so, anyway, back to where we were going. So I'm going to get that ready for the next few videos. But, you know, this, this playthrough has been one of those great things. That, I, that I've been able to experience. Crusader Kings 2, you know, I like playing it as a bigger power than as a count. And I'm trying to make a let's play of that, but the thing is, when you're a count, you have to rely on cl making claims, and sometimes, with the luck of the draw, it just takes way too long for you to even develop the claim. By the time you might get a claim, someone is either at war with you, or they may have become too powerful for you to conquer. So, that's the only thing I have against Crusader Kings 2, is that it, it's one of those games that does take a very long time to actually get any action in. So to make a video about that, it's uh, you, you get these videos where it's like peacetime and everything, and yes, I'm explaining things that are going on at the moment, but... There's no action, but I can readily make action happen. If I really wanted to, I could call one of these guys back and say, Hey, you make a claim on this territory. Or, hey, we want to go with war, to war with them because, you know, I have a claim on them. And claims are rather easy to get on here. The only thing you have to wa worry about is the manpower and the aggressive expansion penalties. So... Alright, well anyway, uh, this has been Deadman9001, the voice of the Greshifaria channel, playing EU4 on the I Don't Know What I'm Doing Sean State series. We're currently, you know, I'm going to probably start calling this Burma after a while, just to say Burma Play, and we'll probably change the tag, but um, so far nothing really big happening here. A couple ships, or a ship, a an army unit. We did finish the core, and our powers are getting up there, so we will be event able to get new tech soon. So, uh, like, favorite, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and leave your comments in down below. Interested in talking to me on Facebook on my page? Um, I do have a Facebook page for my channel, so, or for me, Deadman9001. So, if you'd like that, just check out on my video, on my um, YouTube page. There should be a little box there with the Facebook. Click on that, and it should take you right to my Facebook page. So, And uh, it should just be the actual channel page, not my personal one. So, <laughs> Anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day, whatever point in time you're watching this. And uh, please join me again next time.